Still alive, despite everything. I know I haven't streamed in a while, I'm sorry. My job put me on swing shift. So my whole life got kind of switched around. Stuff happened. We've now survived another Thanksgiving. You guys want to play some Baldur's Gate? Baldur's Gate. I gather your inclinations tend to lean towards the sci-fi, but I wonder about the, the fantasy. I myself straddle the line. I like both. Gun to my head, I'll choose fantasy. But I've been a D&D &D player for pretty much as long as I've been a nerd, so this is... This is a good way to get that fix. Okay. So, the last time I streamed Baldur's Gate, I was right about there, I think. Um, I had just clean swept Act 2. And it was kind of dawdling. Wanted to make sure I got everything before I left. And then, uh, and then some time ago, my job switches me over to Swing Shift, and like all of my afternoon streams just kind of dropped off the side of the flat earth. Like a cat knocked them over. But uh, in the mornings, I chip away. On the weekends, I chip away. Um, I've made it a little bit into Act 3. We've made it to our new camp at Worms Lookout. did that business on the astral plane. And then, plop, here we go, Act 3, I get dropped at Worms Crossing, and the city of Rivington, which I still am here, I have not yet scoured this place. Um, I met and spoke with a bunch of vampire hunters at the Gur camp. Uh, went into this temple? Question mark. I did the, the stuff at the circus. That was pretty interesting, especially that piece. Um, I don't know why I have duplicates there, that's weird. Um, spoke with both the animals. One of them's nice, one of them's not so nice. Uh, one of them wants to eat people. Believe it or not, it's the nice one. Uh, I met a newborn baby illithid, weakened and starving in the bottom of a windmill. Um, I met a cat that had been murdering uh, messenger pigeons, apparently. I don't know. I, I think I solved that quest before I actually started it. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, and I took a Amulet bound with the soul of a monk to find its 
granddaughter. Uh, spoiler alert, she's dead. Um, and then now I'm kind of poking around beneath this temple trying to solve a murder. Hi, Jess. Uh, so let's, let's go someplace very deep, very dark. Not as deep as the Underdark. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it'll be a short stream today. I can only go for a couple hours or so. You know, work and all that stuff. Work, man, that's a four-letter word, isn't it? Ugh. We do it because we have to. We do it because society dictates this is how it's done. But I bet we wouldn't do it if we didn't have to. Okay. So, the party. Uh, Drake Windman, Rogue. Shadowheart, Cleric. Lazel, uh, Fighter, Battlemaster. And Karlak. Barbarian badass with a battle axe. Um, we just murdered a couple of people. Note the bloodstains. Um, in this little cavern here. Uh, they were mean. They're evil shapeshifters. This guy's name is Rudd. Not to be confused with Paul. Of uh, acting fame. Um, and so there was a murder. This uh, a priest question mark uh, up top was murdered and investigators came in and said oh it must have been a refugee and you know the city is beset with refugees everybody's fleeing from the, the um, members of the, uh, the absolute cult so it's really easy to blame everything on you know a bunch of scrubby nobodies but uh, the investigation was incomplete. They couldn't find a murder weapon. Well, guess what? I found the murder weapon. So now uh, I'm going to continue clearing this cave. Let's see what else I can find down here. Because obviously there's more stuff down here. Right? Uh, so, yeah. Pretty chill. No, no huge goals or aspirations today. Just you Never know, don't die. Easy path. Uh, pretty sure this is where we came in. I'm all turned around now because you know I had a couple of cookies the last time I played. Yeah, I think this is where we came in. There was a uh, couple of secret buttons that unlocked a secret door that leads to a nice deep cave where a bunch of refugees had been hiding out and uh, being fed by the the, uh, the priest who was murdered. He wasn't a priest. I don't remember what the word is. see my mouse? I'm just wondering. Do I have to highlight everything just to have people see it? <gasps> Ooh, a boat! Oh, I'm outside. Oh, I'm under the... I'm under the bridge. As it were. Like a 
control. Alright, well, uh, should we go the right way? I don't know if it is the right way. Christ. Hmm. I'll take that. I'll take that. Got some murder grass. If I could, uh, put that in a pipe and smoke it. A giant dirt Better not be cursed. It's not like digging up chests and see a thieves, no, is it? Scroll of fly, I will take. Thieves tools, running low. Potion of superior healing. Probably come in handy. Shadowheart finds a dirt mound. The sneaky perceptive rogue just about tripped on it. Didn't see it. Scroll of cloud kill. Ooh. Some gold and an arrow of fire. Little backpack here. Chemical reagent. The Dell chemical reagent. Anything else? No? Oh, what's going on over there? Can I get there? From here? I don't think so. The camera won't pan. I feel like I got an invisible wall here. There is clearly something there. Can't tell if it's on fire or if it's just a bonfire. I think it's just a bonfire. If people don't seem to be panicking, we'll leave it be. Okay. Well, that's a dead end on the beach. Don't go the other way. It's some bare grass. Another boat. Is there anybody on the boat? Ghost boats. Nobody on the boat. Tesla self-driving boat. Yeah. The prototypes. Copper band. Bronze pendant. Yeah. Need the silver tray. Don't care about that. I'll take jewelry though. So I have to roll a three or better. Uh, 
Deals acid, cold fire, lightning, or thunder damage. Add your spellcasting mod to the damage dealt. That's pretty nice. I like that. Not bad for a green. And a gold ring, which. Hmm. It seems to be a plain band, but like it's glowing? I wonder. back up to topside. Is there more beach to explore? Yes, but not much. We shall check it. Does it hurt to walk into it? Let's avoid that trap. No, but that would hurt to walk into. failed the perception check, which tells me there's probably another one close by. Like a oh, God. Just as I expected. How close was I to stepping on that thing? Oh, shit. right in front of your face. Single gold. 
longsword, which I will steal. And what's with the pot lid? I don't understand. Why, 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 why do you guys have pot lids? I get that, like, if you're three years old, it's, you know, a perfect buckler shield in the kitchen. But, uh, what purpose does it serve? not long for this world. What happened here? Guild. Wanted the cargo. You hear the blood gurgle in his struggling lungs. His last ounce of strength is spent. <laughs> Big dramatic death. <sighs> it says dying, Stone Lord Thug. Quite dead. Lazel, don't step on the guy. Jeez. Um, how about you let the rogue go first? Just saying. Fresh corpse. Another steam cloud. Let's all like just get out of view. Go real slow, huh? Free for the taking. First things first, I'm gonna go These here. These boots have seen everything. Looks like there might be some goodies. I like goodies. Beware. This place is trapped. That's a DC-30. Net 20. I'll take that. Alright, cool. Yep, tripwire in the smoke. Anything else of import? <coughs> On the deck here. Oh, a backpack. Where is it? I don't know. Oh, there is. There it is. Oh, go back. That's one of the reasons I absolutely love this game. Uh, one of the reasons I love tabletop in general. There's, you know, so what many trick ways. What trickery is yeah. this? <sighs> Scared the crap out of me, dude. There's so many different ways to handle any given situation. You know, not only... Perception failed, oh crap. Not only, like, is my party composition probably going to be different, you know, but, uh... You know, just the way you approach and handle every situation in this game. It can be done so many ways. So what's up, funny money? How's work going there, Brack? You guys are on lunch, huh? You enjoying your lunch? You having a you having a snack? I can't use the tripwire. I don't want to use the tripwire. I wanna Okay, walk through it. <laughs> No, 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 no. Can't live my life without you. Oh, did you hear what he said? Oh, God, she had two fails. She was about to die, die, like dead, dead. Oof. God. 
you know, I left y'all back here thinking you'd be safe if my stupid ass went and tripped on something. Oh, how very wrong I was. <laughs> yeah, see, this one says disarm. Why did that one say use? I will never know. At the ready. Disarm. DC-15, my ass, it's just a string! Fresh corpse. Fresh corpse? Is it... Why is it... The Purge Pilot Midwinter Edition. I'll take his sausage. Wait, I didn't say that out loud. Uh, we're gonna be close real quick. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, okay, I'll take a look. I'm not gonna take that Warhammer, though. That's a big, heavy item. Typically, I take weapons from bodies, just in case the bodies get back up. Why does this guy look like he's covered in, like, spider webs? Or, like, clay? Is he petrified? Oh, God. Just says dead, doesn't say anything else. Real quiet. Move with care. Recent corpse? Oh, what happened to his head? Where is his head? It's not there. His head is noticeably missing. Um. Oh, there's the head. I found the head. Severed head. Oh, it's a lady. Jaws ripped off. Locking her face in an eternal bloody scream. Severed arm. Something ripped this person apart. Or a couple of people. Oh no. Hey, the game just gave me an autosave? <laughs> you know, like automatically? Oh, Here, let's just, you know, we'll do you a favor, because shit's about to get weird. That same ship was at Moonrise Towers, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no. This is the boat. Yeah, this is the boat. Um, I think Carlax still carrying something that was supposed to be on that. Oh, there's people. Carefully now. Blunt scuncher. I'll snip off your horns one by one. Okay. Threats, all of them. I don't know if I'm even supposed to be going this way. Looks like there's a path. But yeah, this was uh, this was something I didn't expect to ever see again. Looks like those two are about to fight. Watching a, a, a whole different For the set of people Lord. fight using all the same rules. Oh shit! 
weapon dropped. Clunk. Attack. Not your smartest play. You guys over here plinking with arrows. This guy's about to funk you with a hammer again. Oop, that guy's dead. Rage mode engaged. Oh, she slipped. <laughs> yeah, see, he jumped out of the ice. Smart guy. Fun's over. Get this cover on the ship. Let's get this stuff to the Captain House pronto. Okay, well. Yeah, I I have not been streaming. You know, it's so difficult to leave my comfy, warm, soft bed with my cats and my dog all purring and snoring and, and and lounging, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I really am enjoying having the ability to sleep in. I, I would trade it away though, I really would. This swing shift bullshit has to go, I am not a fan. I was so used to, for like a decade and some change, working, you know, early hours and being off work by 2 p.m. And having all afternoon to hang out. And, you know, I would hang out with a lot of people from the East Coast because they were getting off work at about the same time I was. I have to keep going. And now I'm, like, on the other side of the coin and, like, nobody is up when I'm up. You know, and I'm at work until after, you know, people are asleep. So it's just, it's just a really weird dynamic that I still am not used to. I do enjoy the sleeping in, though. I've, I've had more restful nights in the last month than I think I have in the last 15 years. I'm not even gonna lie. I have an alarm for 8 a.m. and it's kind of just, it's just a gratuitous alarm. It really is. It's to help me get up at a decent hour uh, so that, you know, I'm, my circadian rhythms match that of my, my partner. So she and I can enjoy a lot of, you know, time awake together um when you know when we have it together but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna kid you i'm not gonna lie that that 8 a.m alarm i don't think i've been out of bed at 8 a.m once <laughs> i i hit the snooze i throw that shit across the room <laughs> but yeah it's uh it is a weird thing working swing shift i i I think I've only done it one other time in my entire life, and it was probably like food service. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't enjoy it, but whatever. Ah, these people are red. Like they're gonna attack me. Okay, so here's what we do. Can I get a short rest? No. <laughs> no short no rest. Do. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's go back to the. Let's go back. To the to the party, and uh, see if we can get a long rest. Yeah, cause we're all kind of hurting here. Uh, Shadowheart's got a single hit point, no and if memory serves, no fucking spell slots. <laughs> yeah, time for a long rest. I've I've pushed it as far as I can. I don't spam the short rests and and long rests. Like I just. I, I play until I can't, and then I go rest, much like I do in life. You know, I'll go no quit until... Alright, so let's group up. Um, we'll do a quick save, just because. Even though the game just gave me an autosave, I'll take this one. And we'll go long rest, because, god, we need it. Exactly. 
Um, you don't have enough camp supplies. Taking long rest will only restore your hit points. Okay. I mean, I've got camp supplies at camp. So, I'll just go collect a few and then hit the bed roll. Oh, shit, I forgot about this. Oh, here we go. Queen Vlakis. Squaw! You are her Sherlock. And still, you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Voss. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Voss lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains! The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the Astral Prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barta Vlakith, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Lazel's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlaketh. Okay. Um... I want to meet this lady in person. You know, see how tall she really is. I bet if she wasn't, you know, projecting the visage of a 50 foot bitch, she wouldn't be so imposing. But uh, I have let Lazel speak for herself thus far. I think I'm going to continue to do so. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me! I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, <laughs> I can read the see. Book. Uninterested. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word! Your word is nothing! You are nothing! The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. I don't know that marrow is made in the skull, but I get your point. The Gith Yankee warrior. Th I'm still in stealth. The kid doesn't see me. I'm right on the other side of a campfire. Clearly lit. Yeah, hiding in an unobscured area will be caught on sight. Ignorant child. Alright, let's see. Uh... Father Lorgan. He wasn't a priest, he was a father. Close enough. Um, yes, here we go. 
Blacketh appeared to us in camp and made Lizelle an offer. Uh, we need to make it to Sheress's caress and speak with this Kithrak boss again. Zip -de -doo -doo. Look at all them completed quests, man. I'm actually playing the game. Alrighty. You are home. You do not need to be sneaking. Another here. step forward. Of course, she's going to have something to say. So, Lazelle, uh, you know, about that flying god ghost lady. How about that? It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Wait, hold on. You actually have emotions? Slow the roll. Oof. Yeah, you know, me too. Eh, inside check. What's the true source of her resentment? Hey, I get advantage. Sweet. DC 10. Vlacketh has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. into molten rock, forever rattling in the belly. But I've never known this. I feel no heat, no cold. I bear neither fangs nor talon. There is only absence. No matter. I am Vlacket's child no more. I have been born anew in Gith's son, my savior. And so, from the old battle cries is birthed another. Chmar Zala Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus' is will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Wow. Yeah, well, okay, hold on. Aren't you kind of just trading one for another? <laughs> Have you thought about what you want? Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Um, what, what do we do now? We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the prince. Orpheus tough King Narsin. Okay. Yeah, one last question. What was the thing? What was the thing? Vlacketh's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlacketh won has a Bart to Vlacketh been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. Well, 
glad to see you're having a character arc. Okay. Okay, so at least she's, you know, seems to be pointed in the right direction. Nothing new from Will. Go say hi to Shadowheart. Avert your eyes, Jess. I didn't think I'd live to see the day when Lazelle turned her back on Vlakis. But all things considered, good for her. Wow. Anybody else got an exclamation point? Her like this. She's just, you know, just chilling. Sorry to disrupt your nap here, lady. <sighs> Soldier, my engine. It hurts. I think this might be it. Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. But look. We've just about made it to the city. That'll do me. Let's go protect it. <sighs> Whatever happens after that is between me and the so-called gods. You don't think we'll find you a cure? With this heat going, I can't spare the energy to think. Ugh. I just want to enjoy whatever's left of this life of mine. Anyway, it could be worse. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, with who I'm meant to be with. How many people can say that? Man, I really like your attitude. Shit's fucked, clock's ticking, but let's party. Alright, I think... I don't really need to be walking around talking to everybody. I just need to grab... Oh, I guess I was right next to it. Some supplies. No it traps, be grabbing the fleece. Yeah. Um, here. Put that there. Put that there. We'll put that there. We'll open this guy. Open it. Alright, what's for dinner? Huh? How about. Some salami. Everybody likes salami. That's good, right? Salami. And how about the... Some boulder's grape. That sounds good. Some boulder's grape. Uh, how about some raspberries? Yeah, let's get some raspberries. Yeah. I'll take that. What else we got? Fish. Yeah, it's it's fish. It's fish. Give me bitch. Give me rolls. Hail mint. That's neat. What else we got? Apples. Oh, sourdough. Yeah, that sounds good. Get some sourdough. And um, some horseradish. So this is actually the first time I'm doing this. Uh, chicken coops. Here. Oh, 
bed rolls. Oh, here we go. Ha ha. Netherstone. The Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. <laughs> your company is disgusting. <laughs> Have you seen your face? <laughs> you seem troubled. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. <laughs> you have a love interest? Oh, also, uh, spoiler alert, Jesse. I drank one of those um, <clears throat> Mountain Dew Game Fuel Mystic Punch sodas. Not really a fan. Not so much. Indeed. Duke Stelmane. Or as I knew her, Berlin, when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. <laughs> I really don't need the details. <laughs> I, I, that's a leading question. That's a leading question. I'm going to take the open-ended. How so? In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I concede the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. Do you need a hug? <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. 
What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach, and not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Give his hand a reassuring squeeze. I... I could just say thank you, but I kind of want to give him a reassuring squeeze. I mean, he's grieving, right? Like, I mean, he didn't so much as say it, but the context clues in the the, 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 the chat thread here tell me that there was something, something there. Something there that wasn't there before. <laughs> I'm going to give him a squeeze. What the fuck? You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Yeah. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. Yeah, I probably won't be joining you going down that road. Nah, I don't want the two tadpoles I have. The other two are walking off back to their station. Shadowheart remains. <laughs> what? Drake women received condition. Sweet stone features. Affected entity is blessed by their own depiction in stone. It gains a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Oh. My. God. 5,000 gold for a statue of myself, and it gives me a bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Okay, well, I guess it's time to unveil the, uh, the, <laughs> the masterpiece. So, I mean, it's no secret. I like to make uh, my characters, you know, kind of like me. I'm, I'm, I am role-playing, you know, after a fashion. I do believe I'm the swarthy, swashbuckling, roguish type, and uh, have been most of my life. But to see myself depicted in an avatar is one thing. To see my avatar depicted in stone? It's a whole nother thing. How about it, huh? I don't think they got the beard right. I'm kind of bummed about the beard. The the goatee. It looks funky in stone. But I like everything else. You know, the posture's pretty good. I like to think I've got pretty good posture. You know, the presentations. The presentations everything. You know, ha ha. But uh, yeah. Don't ban me for having a penis on my stream, please. Please. I mean, it's not real. It's fake. <sighs> and Asterion gets uh, front row seating. I have something to <laughs> ask. So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time. But she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. Hmm. Yeah, Asterion would know.
Keeping very well, I hope. So apparently she got some rest. I know that's all she wanted for a while. That's Come good. to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Sweet stone features. Gotta love it. Let's see what this does. Okay. So now we're all healed up, rested up. Everybody's got their spell slots. Okay. Cool. It's good. It's, it's good. What time we got? 12.43. I think I can go for another 45 minutes or so. Warm body. Head smashed. A recent kill. It took me to take a nap. Everybody uh, finished what they were doing and left, it looks like. Or they're hiding somewhere. Which I feel is probably closer to the truth. Oh, the bodies are gone, too. Oh. Traps, please. Well, it looks like there's a pouch where a body once was. Okay, so we'll take the gold. We'll send the camp supplies to camp. Take the arrows. And I'll take that short bow. Gleam Always room for more. Object shines with a glowing light in a radius of six meters. Offhand only. When this dagger is wielded in the offhand, the wielder gets a plus one bonus to AC. Six to nine damage. Mm, I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. I would solid snake the shit out of this and be putting bodies in lockers and barrels and, you know hiding my tracks. Mm. Take that gold, take that dagger. Anybody else? Take that dagger root. Looks like there's a little cave right here. Oh shit, there is. What do you know? Look at that. What else is going on around here, huh? Bullywook trumpet? It says steel, even though it's, you know, just plant growing in the ground here. But I will take it. Before Riga Mortis sets in, fold them up all funky. Might have to, you know, break their hips to get the legs in proper. But yeah, I'd be hiding stuff in barrels. I don't know why I'm putting so much thought into this. I don't have a barrel, nor do I have a dead body, nor am I going to be seeking out either. Um, fossilized shell. That's about. board. Haunted ass boat. Doesn't look 
look like there's much going on here. Oh, look. Annotated ship's manifest. It's in worse shape. I feel like, I mean, it's mostly intact. It's still got that creepy, you know, shadow bullshit from Act 2, though. So I wonder what that's about. I don't know. But, uh, no combat here. The three or four people that were unloading the ship are no longer present. I imagine I'll bump into them again somewhere else. Okay, so let's see what's in the hidey hole. Into the cave we go. It seems it's the only way to go at this moment. Ladies, let's go. Custom put plans on everything. Please, I'll get off of the barrel. What are you doing? I'm trying to be sneaky over here. Ooh. Uh, spicy pork sausage. Get off of the box. I'll take that ring. And this note to Kairos reads Boss, I found this out there on a poor schmuck. This isn't from the stash. I'm not Van. I know the rules. Oh! some lights. Treasure crates. Yes. I'll take some gold and some poutine. That sounds yummy. A whole bunch of daggers. And a fucking body? Oh my god, I didn't see that before. Hanging corpse. Kairos's warning. Seems like Van needed to be reminded that you don't take from the stash. The stash is mine, and you get what I give you. I find you taking from the stash, you end up like Van. Be smart. Don't be like Van. Daggers are lightweight. Gold. Ooh, perception failed. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see who's gonna notice whatever it is. It's a race. Come on, girls, get it. Hot foot, hot foot. Place is trapped. Okay. Oh, they're in the thing. Okay. Dum -de -dum. Um, 
Karvak come away from the chest, just in case sneak, it explodes. Sneak. Keeping low. Just in case it explodes. Unheard. Unseen. Onward. What now? Alright, wooden chest. Disarm. DC 15, I get a bonus of plus 12, or 3 or better. Roll the 1! Um, I got 3 modes of inspiration. I'm gonna use one because I don't want whatever this is to explode in my face. Hey! Take that. Open. Bone spike boots. You have a plus one bonus to AC and saving throws as long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield. Um, adds Brutal Leap. That sounds like a Carlac. Hey, Carlac, I got you some new shoes. Let's see what you got, eh? I'd love to, thanks. Yeah. Um, well, her evasive shoes give her a plus one to acrobatics and an armor class. And they are technically worth more. Hmm. But. Trade acrobatics for saving throws. to Shadowheart. Huge step up. She's got plain leather boots. Now she's got some fancy boots. And those we will send to camp. Cool. Don't mind me. It's a good find. I'm glad I didn't, you know, blow up that chest. <laughs> 253 gold. Malachite. And an onyx ring, which... It looks better on me than it does on you. Anything else back there? I don't think so. Alright, let's go Best be on my way. this way. Excuse me. Coming through. Better go down in the hole. I don't wanna, but I'm gonna. Still kind of sneaking, so that's good. Kind of creeped out. I was hoping to bump into those three people or four people that were up top, but they're gone. Oh, potatoes. Yum. I love potatoes. Kind of wish I had a potato right now. Lovely malty beer. Yum. Spiced, dream mist. Yeah. What's in here? Pointing to a secret breach in the wall of Worms Rock Fortress. Looks like it could lead to the prison, and from there, the inside of the fortress itself. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. In the interest of making sure nobody else knows, I'll carry it. Don't mind if I do. Really? I'm just gonna climb on top of this? Okay. Smuggler's Manifesto, which I think I'm like sitting on here. Eh. Yeah. 
cheese. Get off with the. Thank you. The rules, don't forget. Stick to the Sword Coast if you don't want to trigger an all out war and draw attention to the higher ups of the council. No backstabbing, no ratting, no stealing from each other. You get what you're given, no skimming off the top. Trust that you'll get your share. Highest value goods come first. Don't go shuffling bread if there's a jewel rush. We're not a bakery. And keep the camp tidy. We don't want anyone following a trail of gold back to us. Smuggler's Manifesto. Don't waste a step. That booze. I don't care if it's common table wine. I want it. Give me. It. There's no there's no exit point here. I thought the boat would be a thing. Apparently it is not. Alright then. Uh, I don't need, need any for stealth anymore. Right now. Softer than a whisper. And let's head How back to the can I go? the body? It's a missing person still it's a murder. It's like that moment when you realize, oh, there's a spider in my apartment. You go to get your fly swatter or your newspaper or your flip-flop or whatever the hell. Maybe a cup or a glass and a piece of paper in an attempt to either kill or exercise the spider. And then when you come back, you realize the spider's not there anymore. room for more? There's an autosave. I've got my eye on you. And them over there too. I don't miss a thing. Okay, old brown eyes. Thank you for paying attention. Citizens only. I won't say it again. 
But we won't clear from arm. Oh. There's nowhere else to go. Please. Orders are orders. We That's got cool. Ours. You've got yours. I need you to step back. Okay. There must be something. Shoo. That's the temple. Um, I found the murder weapon. Uh, need to go speak to a lady. I think she's in here. She was. There she is. Yenis. Very well. How goes the search? Um, okay, what do I need to prove his innocence? Valeria never found the murder weapon. That would be definitive proof that they missed something. Well, boy, have I got good news for you. That's it! Proof that Valeria missed something. I'll have to listen to you now. If you can convince them of Brilgor's innocence, then... Perhaps Ilmeta could shed one less tear this day. Okay. Um, no journal update. Also, I want to steal these potions. It's so fucking bad, but... Seems simple enough. Should mind my step. More for me. What do we have here? Should mind my step. These boots have seen everything. Okay. I, I gotta go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, so now the only thing on the street that I think I have not uh, walked into, dug into, is the smith. There's more than one way to skin a dress in. Armor, blade, we'll the Rivington General. Good job. Let the kid come. He wants to teach them refugees a lesson, right? Paramedius, one of our red cap cleaners alerted me. Okay. Too far. This here. Take a quick save. Be most pleasing to sleep in doors. If you're a customer, go down to the shop. Otherwise, clear off. Oh. Well, given this is in fact a blacksmith's, we sell things that need smithing. The okay. shopkeeper can tell you more. Give the lazy sod something to do for once. Wow, this guy's friendly. Okay, so I guess all the work is done here. Where's the shop? I'm guessing that's the shop. Or is this the shop? They'll run for the damn hills. Probably his house. I'll give it a shot. Yep. Journal of Mr. Friendly. Talking about an in 
influx of infernal weapons. I'm sure that's not a coincidence. guy's in the dating pool he's trying to find love maybe that's why he's so bitter he's you know a little wound up upset that her boy is upset. Okay, well, Captain A-hole uh, apparently is in therapy. I don't, I don't know. Or needs therapy. What is this guy's name? Ex Vikyap. All right. Hi. Or want a blade, or a bow, oh. or a dagger, or maybe a spear is more your thing. You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? Yeah, those eyes are a trip. Are you the one that sells the Smith's weapons? Yep, that's me. Grumpy fella, isn't he? On the outside, but he's a softy at heart, like molten steel. Also, he's a living legend. What? Do you know he's won Best Smith in Rivington seven years in a row? Oh. And, and he says that if I move enough stock, I might even get to have a go on the anvil. Brilliant. All right, well, let's see if I can help. What do you got? Oh, yay! Ooh. I see some reds. The Dancing Breeze, a very rare... Uh, glade. Mm. Well, let's do this. I'll take that. Straight up off the top. Ambusher, a short sword. Necrotic mm, damage to creatures that haven't taken a turn yet. Yeah, it's okay. I want to take that too. I'm running pretty low on gold though. I lost a lot of gold at the circus. Bone spike garb. Very rare clothing. Slab jaw determination, you gain 15 temporary hit points whenever you rage. Uh, hmm. Oh, I could go for a good meal. No. Um. Shit. All right. I'll just we'll take that. Attention. And then Carlac can look at this. 
Uh, she's got just straight up barbarian clothes at this point. Do I want to get this? I think I do. Oh, I only got five grand left, so Carlac can make it f***ing worth it. Slashing damage against infected enemies produced by one per turn remain. gloves, eh? Um, ooh, sneak attack deals extra force damage. I like having that sleight of hand plus one, though. I think you can keep those gloves. And then a glaive. Who's gonna use a glaive? doesn't really have any perks other than just being kind of badass. And I would be practically broke if I bought this. I feel like this is a shadow heart weapon. Maybe Carlac. back. Okay, 32 gold left. That's it. I'm broke. Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! Bye! So far my favorite person in town. Alright, that's everything along the main street. I think... Oh no, I didn't do the... Uh, the... Where's that letter? The place with the... I think it's further right down. Here. Yes, this would be my next thing to do here. Post house. But that's going to have to wait until next session because I'm just about out of time. So, what we do is we make a quick save. Her plow. For the good of the realm! Not a bad little session. Made some progress. <sighs> and now I get to do that fun thing. Get ready for work. Ugh, gross. I don't want to. So let's do. Let's 
do this. Citizens only. I won't say it again. But we won't clear from Get rid of that. There's nowhere else to go. There's nowhere else to go except work. Ugh. I need you to step back. There must be something. Um. Let's see. Okay. Uh, thank you, Archon, for stopping by. Thank you, Funny Money, for stopping by. Thank you, Jesse, for stopping by. Not bad, considering I haven't streamed in like two months, and this one got no warning whatsoever. And I had some folks to talk to, so that's pretty freaking good. Um, I will make an attempt at making these morning streams happen more often. We'll try. But until then... I, I thought we'd be safe in the gate. I heard the stories. Until then. Tell all you want. We've got enough mouths to... We don't need... Thanks for hanging, Archie. Have a good one, brother. Out with the Sonic remix. Yeah!